This is the first cat we're going to show you today. You're looking at Stewie. Stewie is a obviously a coal black, beautiful, one-year-old, short-haired, neutered male. He was brought into the shelter because the owner was moving. This is a super sweet guy. He loves to play, loves to be petted, likes to be picked up. Just an all-around great cat, fit in any home, kids, adults, doesn't matter. We don't know about dogs, but we know about people, and Stewie just loves them. So if you want your own pocket panther, your own miniature big black cat, come take a look at Stewie. He is an absolute love. This beautiful girl is Sheriff Callie. She's a spade female, um, short but plushy here, very frankly. Uh, dilute calico, seven years old. This is a nice cat was brought in because the people just didn't have time for her. She lies, she does okay with other cats, but she really, really, really wants to be an only. She'd do well in a quieter home. She wants people who are dedicated to making her happy, to petting her, and to loving her. And in return, she will dedicate her life to making you happy as well. This is Sheriff Callie. Eh, okay, she posed. She was cute. Now she's going to leave. Ginger is an absolutely beautiful buff tabby. Spade female, about a year and a half old. She came in as a stray, likes people. She can get a little feisty at times and want to be left alone or a little bit excited when she plays. So she should go home with a family with older children and not little ones. But she does love to play and she does love people. And she's got beautiful green eyes and she's sweet as she can be. And absolutely a love of a cat. And her name is Ginger. This gorgeous boy is Cody. Cody is a neutered male, short hair, orange tabby with some white on him. He's about four years old. Uh, came in as a stray with his brother. <laughs> and he's checking out the camera. His brother is no longer here, but he's still here waiting for a home. Doesn't mind being brushed. Doesn't like mind being picked up. Likes to be pet. Likes to be a lap cat. Would do great in any home with anybody. I mean, he's just a big, stocky beautiful, lovely, loving cat, and his name is Cody. <laughs> this beautiful girl all curled up in the corner is Sangria, and she is a very petite, short-haired, dilute calico, four-paw declawed. She's about five years old. <sighs> the owner said that uh, it was his teenage daughter who was really in love with the cat, and since his teenage daughter isn't around a lot anymore, he doesn't need to have the cat anymore, so here she is waiting for someone else. She's terribly shy, which is why she's hiding in the corner, but the minute that she gets petted a little bit and gets to know you a little bit, she warms up really, really rapidly, loves to be petted, loves to be loved, would do best in a quiet home because she is shy and easily frightened. But she is beautiful. I wish I could show you the back of her, but she's not going to uncurl for anything. She's beautiful. You're just going to have to come in and take a look at her and see how beautiful she is because I can't show you on camera, and she is beautiful. So her name is Sangria. Remember that. She is sweet as she can be, and she's looking for someone who will be kind and patient and gentle and quiet and loving so that she can love them right back. Okay, these are our special needs babies, and these are the Wobbles family. You've got Wobbles, Weeble, and Wiggle, and all of them have a syndrome called cerebellar hyperplasia. And you see it, this is something you see almost immediately in birth in cats. Um, causes jerky movement, tremors, and uncoordinated motion. Uh, they have trouble walking and they fall down a lot. Tremors increase when they're excited and subside when they're quiet. The disease will not get better or worse as they age, but they can usually learn somewhat to compensate for it and have a normal lifespan. They can, in theory, lead a normal life, but there are secondary complications such as accidental injuries and falls because they fall down. Um, houses have to be baby-proofed, and the cats have to be watched. And they will never run and play like normal cats. They will flop and they will fall. But they are very sweet and they are very dear. And in their heads, they don't know that there's something abnormal about them. And they don't know that they're handicapped. And absent somebody who is willing to invest the time and the love in cats that will never be normal, will always be handicapped 
but are still terribly, terribly loving. They will stay in the shelter for all of their lives. So we are looking for these three special needs babies for special gifts adopters who will take them and love them and take them home. Now, are they available for permanent foster? No, they are available for adoption only because they're not sick, because they don't need medication, they don't need care. Yes, they do. They need care and they need love. But we're looking for very special adopters for these people who will accept the fact that they will never have a normal cat, but that inside that cat's brain and inside that cat's heart is a normal, loving, kind animal that is only praying for the chance to have a forever home. They are Weebles, they are Wobbles, and they are Wiggle. They are all in the same condition, and they all need someone to love.